Yo, what's happening, people? My name is Rudra Kosh, and welcome back to my part two of this series, making a melodic techno track from scratch. First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my previous video, which is the part one of this series, and we almost hit 5k views in just nine days, and I'm just blown away with the results. So I really want to thank each and every one of you. In this video, you will see me making a complete arrangement from our eight ball loop, which we created in the last video. Video, and we will see practical techniques to get out from that 8 bar initial loop phase and complete our song. We will also work on the break idea and the intro of our song. We will also learn how to use ear candy to keep our track interesting and use some effects to transition from one section to another. So yeah, this video is gonna be jam packed with tips and tricks. So make sure you watch till the end. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get into the video. All right, so this is what we made in the last part. So I'm just gonna play you what we have so far. Okay, so there are a few things that I want to change. I did a quick car test. I bounced the MP3 and, um, you know, checked the track, how it's sounding in my car. So there are a few things that we want to fix. Um, firstly, we want to add some percussions. I feel like um, we are still, you know, lacking the groove. Uh, I'm like, we can definitely make it better. So then we want some atmospheric sounds like pads and stuff. Uh, I also want to fix the bass sound. The bass sound was not full, um, so we need to fix that as well. Of course, we need to make the break and the intro. I will also try to mix the sound a little bit better. So that's what we're going to do in this video. All right, so let's start by fixing the bass first. Um, so this is our bass. I do want to add a sub, so let's duplicate this track and let's choose a sub sound i mean any sub will sound okay because we just need a sub sound so i think let's Take this one and we have to pitch it down. Yeah. So this one is gonna be our mid bass. And let's, um, I do wanna share this with you guys. Um, this frequency chart um, I sometimes use it uh, I think it's a great tool to use um, you know in order to find the exact frequencies so we are in um, G so I think um, we can cut around 98 Hertz um, so let's get back to Ableton and let's make a 98 Hertz cut Okay, and to save some CPU, what I like to do is, um, so these both tracks have same plugin, Shaper Box. So if, you know, multiple tracks have exactly same plugin and exactly same settings, so I like, you know, usually delete them, make them a group, and then 
I and then I put the plugin on one track instead of you know having multiple copies so it just helps me to save some CPU all right so let's check our sound with the sub um, also I want to turn off the drums synth and the effects so let's check our chart again so the lowest is 24 hertz so what we can do is we can cut our sub around 24 hertz and let's use a smoother curve uh, this one is a little loud all right so this sounds okay I do want to add one more layer uh, for the bass and I think I have something in my mind. Um, we can use this one. Uh, and we can move it with our bass group. And uh, I want to use... Um, like a bass sound with this let me just pull up serum mm. let's try from the bottom this and I think it will sound good with our bass I want to pitch it down a little bit and we can call it groove base and let's make it same color so this syncopated rhythm really helps to make the listener you know stuck in a groove and uh, there's no sidechain so I'm gonna throw this in the same group and this can use the same sidechain okay with it without it you see how it adds to the groove okay let's hear it with the kick Alright, so um, it sounds okay now. I also want to compress the um, low end a little bit. Mm, so let's take um, a glue compressor. And compress it. I think it sounds okay let's add some percussions now I think we are lacking you know some elements in the groove so let's turn them on what's this one okay Yeah, I think this is okay. All 
right uh, we can add a little bit of reverb uh, to these so I'm thinking to let's turn on our return tracks and we have this Valhalla room on this preset studio alpha and let's start sending some of these okay and uh, this is our hat let's apply some reverb on the hats as well and on the claps Yep, I think a little hall reverb will also sound good. Mm, okay. I also want to add a snare. Let's try to find a snare sound. Mm. I want something bright. Mm, let's try this. Let's turn it down a little bit. Uh, for now, I just want to um, copy all these over. Try to add some more percussions. Percussion. Let's try to add a loop instead. Let's add an audio track. Um, let's try some of these. Mm, I like this, um, but it's very loud, so let's turn it down. also want to cut a low end a little bit just to be safe and side chain it from our kick okay it sits better in the mix now okay it sounds 
sounds okay. Um, I do wanna apply some reverb on this. And also cut the low end. So um, let's see how it sounds with the synths. Yeah, surely it adds some depth to the drums. Let's move on. First, copy this lead sound to our break. And I want to copy these automation. And this delay. Okay. LFO rate. And I also want to filter this. And let's just automate this filter towards the drop. Okay, and let's copy these tabs also. Uh, we can filter these also. this uh, supporting stab also and let's copy this same automation onto this track or actually um, we can delete this and use it on the stab group instead this section I want to add like a groove element um, so we can uh, this one is background plug uh, it's not background plug actually this one is 
lead to and let's add a MIDI track and get serum okay and or maybe we can um, oops maybe we can try something else this time let's try div actually This one, I think this might work. Thank you. 
think we can just put it here. Sounds okay. I do want to cut the low end and side chain it to the kick. a little bit Copy this all over. Um, till here. Um, I want to add some OTT on this plug. okay I want to add something to the atmosphere so let's add a MIDI track uh, let's try uh, let's try pigments pigments has some um, cool atmospheric sounds The sound is really nice. Um, I am looking for. drums also I want to copy this percussion loop maybe uh, first of all I want to copy the low end let's copy this um,
the filter more uh, maybe let's try an octave up Let's also side chain this to the kick. And let's check how it sounds. sounds all right but i want to um i want to remove the sub can start introducing some of the drum elements from this section. Oh, no. 
Let's try this. Let's try that same pack that we were using. the hats. A vocoder to these hats. Uh, let me show you a really cool trick actually. So instantly you can hear how the vocoder is affecting the sound um, for the hats. Gives like a kind of shaker kind of feel um, but the fun part is you can automate this release So that's what we're gonna do. Yep, I think it sounds good. Um, let's copy the automation to the hats. this from here maybe because I don't want to give uh, away all the drums very soon um, let's hear it how it sounds from the beginning
let's copy this also We can add a delay also. Uh, let's send this to delay. Make it a hundred percent. Let's try ping pong delay this time. to add one more atmospheric sound so let's add a MIDI track and let's get Omnisphere and I want to add like a pad sound um, I like how it has the um, vocal texture on the top, this one and this one. This one might be just too predictable, so I think let's try this one. Um, okay, so let's add this note here. Let's run on the scale and let's run it down.
I want to um, change these envelope settings. Um, want to increase the release. Let's add one more note. Okay, it sounds okay. Let's loop it and then side chain it from the kick. And I want to um, low cut and apply some reverb. Uh, or maybe we can use shimmer this time. Let's try shimmer. Yeah, I think shimmer sounds better. So this section I like I like to keep it very simple because DJs can easily mix in your song, um, but you still want to make this part like groovy so that people can start um, you know dancing to it. Um, so what I'm thinking is to um, bring in this loop, um, but I want to filter it and automate this. I think let's copy some of these effects also. Let's get this white noise as well. This sounds better. Mm -hmm. 
and I want to um, start introducing the melody here, like in this section. Mm, so, um, let's take like a random part from the melody. And let's try to automate this filter as well. Yeah, I think it will sound good. Uh, so let's take some of this here. And just... Okay, so thinking to copy these tabs as well somewhere here I'm not sure and we can automate this tab Also the delay from the from serum uh, this one I think we can just um, do something like this That sounds better. Um, we can also copy. Uh, okay, the elevator is already there. Mm 
I think that's why um, these are slightly off. Uh, why does Ableton do that? Mm. Never mind. Mm. This was on forty one. So forty one, and we want to. get something from here maybe filter hear it uh, from the beginning It sounds okay. Let's add some more effects. Yeah, maybe something like this. Maybe 
this. Heaven is our future. Uh, yeah, we might use vocal as well. A dedication. Maybe, I'm not sure if I want to add more stabs. Uh, let's check something else. Mm, maybe this one. Maybe this one. Maybe some ambience effects. Mm. Okay, I think we have some effects to play with. Um, so what I want to do is I want to separate them. Um, so let's um, try this one first and let's apply some reverb and let's also apply a delay. Mm, I want to low cut it and high cut. And we need to mm. let's turn it down. Let's cut the low end also. Something like a crash, maybe. Uh, yeah, we can try this one also. There's a weird high 
a high noise in the crash. Um, let's use it like a one shot effects instead. I like the lower part of it. This one. Yes. And also mm, let's grab this also. Also want to so I want to um, filter the kick in some parts all right so I want to automate this filter but instead I want to bypass it
Okay, uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, um, let's use this one now. We can use it, I think, here. Sure, uh, but let's keep it for now. And what is this? No. This one. Let's try this one. Try this one. Try to use this vocal. Heaven is our future. Heaven is our future. It can our future. Future. I did, I just want to get that this part. Uh, future. Yeah, this one. Uh, let's turn this one off. Misconception. Heaven is our journey on Earth. Future. 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 
let's duplicate this track and let's remove this and from here remove this and I want to use this as an um, effect so let's get some delay and I want to really crank up the feedback yeah and let's run it down as well So I'm just, um, you know, literally playing here. Uh, it's uh, so random, but it sounds good. If it sounds good, it's good. Um, I think I need one more track. Um, and I want same delay, but with less feedback. Um, this will be more sort of a clear vocal. Heaven is our future. 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 Heaven is our 
I want to try to automate this delay. Let's see if it sounds good. Heaven is our future. to Heaven is our future. Um, put some like compressor on it um, I really like this universal audio LA 2A for vocals um, to really bring out that texture and the delay as well so Heaven is our future. Is our future. Yeah. Heaven is our future. And I want to EQ this. And this can come before delay. Mm. Heaven is our future. 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 Uh, Also want to apply some OTT. Little less loud. Um, I want to make it like kind of whispery. Heaven is our future. Heaven is our future. Heaven is our future. Um. Heaven is our future. Heaven is our future. And some modulation maybe. Heaven is our future. Yeah, I think it sounds better.
I want to put I think this one right here And I think I want to filter the drums as well. This is our base group. Let's filter this as well. Um, let's get an EQ instead. So somewhere from here. Um, since the vocal is very short, I think we can like spread it apart. Um, Heaven is our future. An awakening. Heaven is our future. So this is, I think, the last phrase. So I want to um, keep it for the very last so we can move it like here and we can um, start using some of these instead um, to keep it interesting. Um, it concealed misconception. want to listen it like you know from the back to get an idea actually let's just play it from the beginning
just really wanna I wanna quickly fix this Okay, um, I think I want to work a little bit on the build up now. Um, let's quickly add like a snare. Mm, yeah, maybe something like this. Um, let's add a MIDI track and quickly lay out some build up snares. some of the low end oh I see um, it's affected by the filter so let's remove it from the drums group for now mm. Mm, let's turn it down and let's use a different filter Here uh, we want to make it even faster. Okay. 
Okay, so let's make this uh, like a silent part here. So it really works well in these type of tracks. I want to mute these and let's cut this and remove these. Okay, so this one, uh, we need to f automate this as well. Okay, so let's automate this. Uh, sometimes I like to um, connect it with a, with a controller. If you have a MIDI controller, all you have to do is um, right click on this one and edit key map and just move the knob, knob you wanna use and then just click it again. So now this knob is linked with this. So yeah, let's. Uh, and yeah, before um, we need to arm this track, now we need to just press this button. So this will just add on the current recording we have. Okay, uh, I'm not sure about this part yet, um, but let's just delete it. Uh, but I think this one is okay. Um. Heaven is 
Okay, uh, let's open up the filter for the drums as well. Okay, and now we need a bunch of risers and downlifters. Um, Let's use the same back that we are using. Um, I need uplifter. Mm, yep, yeah, maybe this one. So this is the drop and this here is build oops I need this here, an impact. Okay, yeah, like a bass drop will definitely work. Okay. Yeah, I think this noisy snare will work better. Okay, so 
and I want to automate the volume for this one because um, I don't really want two similar sounds to be you know clashing with either each other uh, so let's do something like this I think we can do something like this. Um, maybe I'm not sure, but I think it will create more impact. I want more risers in this section now. Um, riser. Yes, maybe. Maybe one more. Yeah, this might sound cool. Uh, it's in a different tempo. You want white noise.
build up is sound okay and this is I think we can use it here a concealed misconception um I want to apply some reverb on this. Um, and I want to automate this drive at. Let's keep it side for now and let's see what else we have. Um, mm, I don't think so. I'm going to use that. What's that? No. So this is um, empty. We can... Thank you. 
to um, use some of the risers here I think now if we copy this effect here, it will make more sense. And I think we can um, mute it maybe here. I think I need to um, filter it more. So let's take an auto filter. And I want to um, change these chords here. Um, I mean, like, I just want to make it more dramatic in this section. So we will add, you know, a couple of notes like a high octave. Uh, and before we do that, I actually want to add a high string sound. Um, high string. Maybe this. And tune it to G. And of course we need to lower it down a lot. And I want to give it some reverb. And also some side chain. Um, okay, so in this section, the kick isn't playing. Um, let's put a um, shaper box. Okay, um, I 
think I want to start it from here. So I want to add some more notes to this um, this pad here. Heaven is our future. An awakening. misconception. Heaven is our future. Um, I want to, um, I think, remove this here and I want a big snare hitting right before the drop mm, to create more impact. Um, I don't know, maybe this one. Let's try. I think we need clap. Maybe this, but lower down the volume and add a bunch of reverb. I think this, I think we need to layer the sound. So, um, um, I think I need to remove this reverb. 
maybe some room reverb. Okay, uh, I will worry about the sound later, but uh, I just wanna um, complete the track as much as we can because we still need to work on the main drop. I think we have um, a pretty good understanding of our break. So I don't want to make like two long breaks. Um, so we are just trying to like keep it short and simple. All right, so I think um, we are um, going into the right direction. Um, Let's see. Uh, this section, I think it's um, it's almost done, um, but I want to work on this section. So let's work on the drop now. Um, I think I wanna mute it for mute this for now. Let's layer this first of all. Um, let's just simply duplicate it. Let's see. Uh, with all of the effects, how it sounds. Sometimes you get crazy results. Um,
think uh, here I want to bring back this lead sound. Um, and we want to continue for steps. can use this high string here to give more energy to this spot um. I think we have to bring this off hat um, a little early because at this point I want to mute some of the percussions um, like this off, off hat for example this one so I think we, I, I will put it here instead Uh, 
so I want to get this white noise. I think I will start filtering this down here. I think I want to use some of these. Here. Um, let's try this one also. This one, I completely forgot about this one. Yeah. Um, the reason why I, I was not able to see it because it's so tiny. So let's consolidate this so that we can see it better. Now we can just simply loop it. Mm.
like a small uplifter here. Maybe we can just use this. And I want to lower it down. And I'm also hearing like, you know, um, a break here and we can make like two kicks here. There is no side chain on both of these, so let's get the side chain um, from the base and let's paste it here on this group. And let's turn down the mix.
think I want to remove it in this spot. Um, here. And I want to use some of these here. I think I want to mute this also so that we can hear the vocal a little bit better. I remove this then I have to add something to keep the energy going on mm. maybe rights let's try with some rights mm. I need a audio track instead And let's turn it down before we blast our ears. This one. Um, I think I wanna put a vocoder on this and automate this release. 
Yeah. Let's um, use this also, mm, and this, mm. okay, let's try it here, here, and this, yeah, this one, we can use it here, here, here okay uh, I think we have um, a good foundation I also want to like copy this here 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 and this okay all right um 
also I think I want to copy this here and I think we are ready to take a listen how it sounds now all right so I think I want to move all of these in the effects group Future. An awakening. A concealed misconception. this one or I think I just want to do like this maybe mm, maybe turn it down so we don't need the vocal um, I think I just want journey on earth so let's remove this journey on earth yeah Let's group these and call it vocal. Um, yeah, I think we I think we are done. Um, all right, so let's listen to the whole thing one last time and see if we need anything in the track.
all right so i think that's it for this part of the video in the next video we will bounce the whole track convert it into the audio and put it in a new project and then we will mix and master the track so stay tuned for it and yeah once again thank you so much for watching this video until next time peace